All right, it's 1130, so we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, welcome everyone and thanks for attending today's webinar, How to Integrate Employability Skills into Your CTE Program. My name is Emily and I'm on the marketing team here at RealityWorks. I'll be moderating today's webinar and of course I'm joined by Denise Dubois who will be hosting today's webinar and sharing all sorts of awesome content on how to teach those key soft skills in any CTE classroom. Um, before we get started with that content today, um, I just wanted to address a few quick housekeeping items. Uh, first of all, as everyone may have just heard, we are recording today's presentation. Additionally, everyone who attends today's webinar will receive a certificate of completion for taking the time with us today. Um, finally, we will be following up today's presentation with an email to attendees. Um, that will contain a link to the recording, to Denise's PowerPoint slides, and to any other resources that um, we end up sharing with folks. So you will get a chance to um, review that content on your own time as well. Uh, finally, we will have some dedicated time for questions at the end of today's presentation. So feel free to share any questions or thoughts in the chat or in the Q&A section um, throughout the presentation, but we'll take time to address everything at the very end of today's presentation. Uh, so with that, let's get started. We'll kick things off with just a super quick introduction to RealityWorks for those of you who aren't familiar with us. Um, RealityWorks, we are an employee-owned company based in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and we create all sorts of experiential learning tools for teaching job and life skills. Uh, we actually got our start over 20 years ago when former NASA engineer Rick Germain created the very first Real Care Baby Infant Simulator and then went on to found the company that is now RealityWorks. Today, our training tools combine curriculum with hands-on learning experiences, plus student activities and assessments. Real Care Baby is still around, but now you can look to us for all sorts of tools, many of which are pictured on your screen now. Um, we offer items ranging from a bovine birthing and ultrasound simulator, virtual reality welding simulators, to even things like wearable geriatric sensitivity suits, and of course, soft skills teaching tools. If you have some time, uh, we definitely encourage you to hop on our website and check out all the awesome hands-on tools we offer. Uh, with that, I'm excited to be joined by Denise Dubois. She is our Senior Family and Consumer Sciences Product Manager here at RealityWorks. She brings a wealth of knowledge to our presentation today. In addition to being with us here at RealityWorks, Denise also sits on the Executive Council of the National Consortium for Health Science Education, and she is the co-chair of the Alliance for Family and Consumer Sciences. She's deeply invested in all things educational, and uh, we're very excited to hear all sorts of great soft skills teaching tips and information from her today. So with that, Denise, I'll go ahead and hand things over to you. Thank you, Emily, and welcome everyone to our session today all about our employability skills programs and how you can take this and also some other ideas we're gonna to share today and use them in your CTE program. Um, you're gonna be uh, looking at our three different soft skill programs that we have to offer and how they all work together to create a great employability skills training experience for your students. We're going to um, specifically get into the learn apply assess method that's used throughout each lesson. And then we've got a, a whole bunch of ideas for integrating soft skills into any CTE program. And then we are very excited to launch and mention a brand new middle school employability skills program. Uh, this is the very first time that we're talking about that. And of course, some free resources will be shared at the end. And then, of course, the Q&A that Emily spoke about. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, by looking at RealityWorks Employability Skills Program. Now, our Employability Skills Program comes with a 19-lesson teacher guide, which will give you a facilitator instructions, assessment, uh, and all of the activities and things that go with each lesson. Uh, there are student uh, workbooks as well that include all of the activities per lesson and give some great extension experiences. We have a set of career-ready workplace scenario cards. And what those are, they're 19 different uh, cards. Each card focuses on a specific soft skill. And that's because of the 19 lessons in that teacher guide um, all focus on a specific soft skill. So the scenario card works in tandem with the lesson content and can be used in a wide variety of ways. And we'll be sharing that a little bit uh, later on in our presentation. So to take a closer look at the employability skills curriculum, you can see uh, here are all of the lesson topics. 
And uh, this program's probably been around for about eight or nine years. But when we first uh, came up with a program, we did a lot of talking with um, uh, local employers and CTE teachers. And that is how we came out with the original list of the skills that you see here. These rose to the top as the most uh, in-demand and desired employability skills topics that uh, they wanted students to learn about. So that's exactly why we chose those. But again, in each lesson, the students are introduced to the to the employability skill, they learn about it, and then they actually get to apply, apply it in anywhere uh, from two to four activities within that lesson. Uh, we've provided some uh, different links that will take you out to some uh, free program information. The first one, if you go to the product page for the employability skills program, you will get a curriculum sample and you can uh, print that out and you can actually try a few of the, of the activities uh, in your program from that if you would like. We also provide a scenario card sample and you can see the one on the screen here is, is listening. Uh, you could literally take that, that uh, scenario, you could uh, read it uh, aloud, or you could uh, po put it up on a document projector, and then share those key questions with your students that are on the other side of the card. And you could uh, use that for uh, a quick icebreaker activity, introducing listening a listening lesson. You could use it for a think-pair-share activity. You could even use it as a whole class uh, assessment at the end of the listening lesson. So they're very flexible in how you can use those scenario cards. We also have a workbook sample. Uh, you can see that at the link below on the product page as well. And then for all of our uh, curricula and products that have curricula, we have curriculum overview documents, which will give you total teaching time, target audience, uh, an overview of the curricula, and then it will give you um, objectives by lesson and lesson topics. So it's a great snapshot document. So it, it gives you an idea of if you did the whole program, how many uh, teaching hours it would be. But you can also uh, pick and choose in the employability skills program um, as far as the order in which you teach the lessons. You can even uh, decide because each lesson is a standalone lesson, uh, you can uh, do like a one week unit on on certain lessons that seem to go together for subunits and things like that. So it's very, very flexible in how you can deploy it. Now, when COVID uh, hit in 2020, we were asked by uh, teachers, uh, what else do you have that could be deployed remotely when students were more online? So at that time, we took our print program and we turned it into an online program, which we still have available. And it is those same 19 soft skills. We have taken the content and we have just turned them into online lessons um, on a web-based platform. And students will do uh, many different uh, same types of uh, activities and things like that that they then turn in for a grade. But uh, we, we love the flexibility um, in allowing customers to be able to choose which format uh, works better for them. And there again is more information at the link that you see on the screen in front of you. So after we had that program out for several years, we came out with a follow-up, a companion program called the Leadership Soft Skills Program. And similarly, we uh, talked to teachers, we talked to students, and we talked to industry. And we said, what other soft skills would you like to see students um, grow and develop as they pertain to youth leadership? And so we uh, surveyed for that and the, the 18 employability skills that rose to the top as far as youth leadership development were chosen for this program. And they are 18 different soft skills than the other program we just shared with you. So if you did both programs, which were great as companion programs, you would have over 30, around 36, 37 different lessons, um, each on a different soft skill. So again, you introduced the soft skill, the students learn about it, they practice it in the activities, there's extension things in the workbooks, they get to problem solve with those scenario cards, but everything we do comes with facilitator instructions, including assessment and slides and so forth. So here are the 18 soft skills that we have in that particular program. Again, they're different from the employability skills program, but all of them uh, are taught through the lens of leadership. How do leaders use things like trust, professionalism, empathy, uh, team building, and so forth, vision, uh, and all of that 
works also very well with CTSOs because we know that they also many times do focus on youth leadership development and in fact have several different competitive events as well. So if you go to realityworks.com and you go on the leadership soft skills product page, once again, we've got a lot of free information that we share with you. And we have a curriculum sample available if you click on it. And if you'd like, you can certainly uh, choose to try a few of the different things that you see in the curriculum or the lesson sample on that. Uh, also, we have a scenario card from the leadership soft skills deck. The one you see here is, is the scenario focusing on trust. Again, you could take this and you could use it with your students to do whole group instruction introducing the, the trust lesson. You could use it as assessment, turning those key questions into a writing activity. You, you could do role playing. So there's many, many different ways it's engaging for your students. We just love the power behind scenario-based learning. Also, there are some workbook sample pages that you're welcome to print out and, and try as well. And then we've got that curriculum overview document that will give you the total teaching time, uh, objectives of, of every lesson. So if you wish, wish to pick and choose lessons and even do them in a specific order that works with your program, uh, it's a great planning tool. You can print that out and take a closer look at the entire curriculum snapshot with that document. Similarly to the other employability skills program in 2020, we also turned our online or our leadership soft skills program into an online course. Uh, when you, uh, when you uh, purchase the program, you're given one login URL that you just share with all your students and they log in and they have access to the dashboard in each lesson. And there's a, on the, on the dashboard, you click on the, the lesson topic, say it's a uh, trust. They go into the lesson. The lessons are very engaging. There's many different things where they're doing, they're watching videos, they're um, completing um, activities. They can, uh, click and reveal more information. There's matching. There's all sorts of learning objects that make it, the platform very engaging as well. And both, all of our programs have summative assessments that you can do before and after the program to measure the knowledge gain over whether it be the online program or that printed program. So how to learn the learn, uh, how to use that learn, apply, assess methodology. We wanna explain that a little bit. So whether you're using the print-based or the online program, we approach things kind of the same way in these, in these programs where um, the employability uh, specific skill, the information is shared and you can do it via the lecture, slide presentation and PowerPoint uh, that we provide. Um, in the online lessons, there are videos, there are things that reveal information, matching, and but they learn the same basic objectives or the content. Then they are sent over to the workbook to actually um, uh, apply some of the skills in, in some of the written activities. But within the lesson, there are also some activities which um, pair students up. Sometimes there's small group activities. Sometimes they're role play, think, pair, share. Sometimes they're also independent things. But we've tried to mix up the methodologies for um, how they apply the different employability skills to give them some variety. And then we've got the assess. There's a summative assessment, but there are also many lesson level quizzes, uh, scenarios, and things that check mastery and understanding of that specific soft skill that are built into each program. So here's a screenshot of a sample lesson on coaching and mentoring. And in this example, students learn the definition of coaching and mentoring skills. Then they apply what they've learned in several different activities. And then the end activity is a mentoring self-assessment. So you can kind of see how in a typical lesson, those things all work together to help students uh, learn just what mentoring and coaching is all about. Here's a sample lesson from an online program. Now in this example, students are learning the seven steps for effective problem solving. They're gonna click and reveal to learn those seven steps. And then they're gonna apply what they've learned in the lesson to a critical thinking exercise. And then the end of each online lesson has a brief knowledge check assessment. So if you're interested in online courses later in the webinar, we're going to, we are going to tell you how you can receive a free lesson to try for your and use with your class for each of these programs. So now we're going to share a dozen ideas that you can take and use to integrate employability skills in general, including leadership, into any CTE program. So here are topics from our employability skills program. 
And you can bundle small groups of related lessons for impactful focused units. And this is just one example. And you can be very, very creative. Perhaps you could create a mini unit on becoming an interpersonal skills pro and choose a series of those type of topics. Or the one here, you uh, let's go get a job. So it's how to communicate maybe in writing or in that interview. Uh, some interview questions, uh, networking, how important that is to even getting a job interview and getting a job, how to negotiate, and then self-confidence. So you can see how even a short mini unit of one week with those five lessons could be a great, uh, let's go get a job unit. But there's many, many ways you can slice and dice these types of topics. Um, here are topics grouped together in a similar way from our Leadership Soft Skills program. Again, just a reminder, each lesson is a standalone lesson and pulling them together like this is very effective, especially if you do not have time to teach each and every lesson in the whole curriculum. Or if you only have a week, you could give your students a list of the leadership skills in the program and you could even have them vote on the ones that they wish to learn about. The top five will become your one week unit. So again, it's lots of different ways that you can slice and dice and deploy a program like this. Now, don't forget the power of scenario-based learning that we mentioned earlier. You can purchase pathway-specific scenario cards for a variety of uses. These cards align with our employability skills program, teaching those 19 same employability skills, but you can align them um, in real-world scenarios for the area you teach. So if you're an AIG instructor, we've got AIG cards. In fact, for each CTE area we serve, we have approximately five or six different um, card decks. For family and consumer science, we have things like, like culinary and interior design, textiles, fashion, and apparel. And certainly for health science, we do things like sports medicine, nursing, geriatric. So we've got a wide variety, but if you had the basic um, employability skills program and wish to purchase these add-on scenario cards to make them more specific to your teaching area, uh, they work uh, very seamless and, and easy to plug those in. So now we're gonna share some ways you can integrate soft skills into your programs. So the first one is what we're calling a special way to instill confidence. Helping your students learn self-confidence is really an important soft skill for any occupational area. We know that in a post-COVID work environment, things like handshakes may no longer be the norm. So practicing a professional way to introduce yourself and initiate a conversation, you know, making that solid first impression is a really great way to engage your students. So we introduce the acronym SPECIAL as a way to pro uh, practice those professional introductions. So S, start with a smile and be confident. Uh, P is for posture, stand up straight. Uh, e, eye contact, you know, look them in the eye. C is for confidence, be positive and self-confident because you are worth getting to know. I is for introduce yourself. Practice what, you, what you'd say in a short elevator speech about yourself. A is ask a question to show that you're engaged and interested in what they have to say. And L is for learn and listen from the other person by using active listening techniques. So you could do something like this and then have your students pair up and then practice those introductions with each other. Our second idea is teaching trust through confidentiality scenarios. Now in both of our employability skills programs, you have those scenario cards available to help teach and reinforce all of the program employability skills. And here's one way you could use scenarios to teach the trust of, or the skill of trust. Helping students learn about how trust and confidentiality are important to leadership and it's key. So using confidentiality is a great strategy for building trust. It's important to keep any confidence that you have been entrusted with by someone else. And you can't expect to be an effective leader if you betray the trust someone's placed in you. So one of the most common signs of someone who cannot be trusted with confidential information is the person who says, so-and-so told me this in confidence, but I know you won't say anything. So while you may feel special that the person trusts you, what about the person whose information they promised not to divulge? How or has this ever happened to you or with someone you trusted? So have your students share examples that they're comfortable with. And then some of those uh, discussion questions could be, are you someone who can be trusted with private or confidential information? You know, why or why not? To gauge your trustworthiness in this area, ask yourself how you'd handle the scenario. And we've shared this scenario, sample scenario uh, on the screen here for you. 
You could divide your class into small groups of maybe three to four students and give them this confidentiality scenario. And you could use one for every group or you could even come up with several so that each group has their own. But the group must come to consensus on how they would recommend handling each scenario along with the reasons why they chose their answer. So you'd have them you know, read through this scenario. You'd have the bring the class back together, have each group share one scenario that they've, that or the scenario that they've done. If it's all the same, well, you wouldn't have to do that step. But if each group has their own, they could share their scenario and then have a, a representative from the group explain their answer as well as um, why they chose to handle the scenario the way they did. So this is again, a, a great way to make things engaging and uh, do problem solving with your students. Now, conflicts in the workplace can really be a distraction. They can destroy motivation, reduce productivity, and lead to anger and frustration overall. So as a leader, it's your job to successfully facilitate conflict resolution. So we know that some conflict is natural, of course, in the workplace and can many times lead to healthy discussions and innovative solutions. So there, there are five conflict approach styles to choose from according to the Thomas Kilman model. And so for this uh, activity with your class, you would give them an overview of the five conflict approach styles. And those are competing, collaborating, compromising, avoiding, and accommodating. And if you Google that uh, conflict approach, you will find more information on all five of these. So your students could read through a workplace scenario, and then they're going to be tasked with using a, one of these conflict approach styles to solve it. And we've given you a, a sample scenario here that you could use, or you could certainly develop your own. But again, a great but very easy way to get them to understand each of those five ways uh, to approach and resolve conflicts, and then also being able to apply it uh, with a scenario that you give them. So here's a recommended way you could instill professionalism in your classroom. And I was recently at an Illinois CT teacher's classroom and the instructor who had come from industry was really lamenting the fact that her students couldn't communicate and didn't know the value of things like showing up on time. And well, what a great place to start developing these skills right in the classroom, especially if professionalism um, is not something they're experiencing um, and being required anywhere else. But by you demanding professionalism, you're setting your students up to succeed in the workplace. So that said, the, cons the key here is really consistency. So every day, make sure your students know they're expected to do things like arrive on time, come prepared, use proper spelling and punctuation, uh, dress for success if that's appropriate. Now, we know you might not be able to do each of these items each and every day. But the idea is to try to mimic a work environment and get your students used to these professional habits. Now here's more on professionalism. You could begin by introducing the definition of the term professionalism to the class. If you Google the Merriam-Webster dictionary definition, it says professionalism is the conduct, aims, or qualities that characterize or mark a profession or a professional person. And it defines a profession as a calling required, requiring specialized knowledge and often long and intensive academic preparation. So professionalism integrates a number of different attributes which together serve to identify and define a professional. So have your students complete an answer to the question, what are the attributes of a professional? Perhaps give them five minutes to identify as many professional attributes as they can. Uh, you could continue a lesson by sharing an image with a professionalism saying, like the one on the screen here, and there are a lot of them. So that would also be a fun activity. Now, most of the attributes or characteristics of a professional can be summarized as how you act, how you look, and how you think. So ask your students to share the attributes they identified in the previous step. Provide some thought-provoking questions to facilitate, facilitate discussion, such as, are professionalism and leadership the same thing? Are there characteristics that you would consider professional, but not characteristic of a leader? Why or why not? One way you can introduce the concept of coaching as a leader is through a TED Talk. Now, if you Google coaching, you'll find many TED Talks that could be used. And I've pulled up one example on the link above here that runs about 18 minutes. So you could play that and then you could ask your students to identify coaching skills that leaders have. Students write them on a piece of paper individually 
or you could ask the question of the class and come up with a master list. And then if uh, the 10 things on the screen are not on their list, you could certainly uh, share some of these as well. And then now using these 10 skills, share the following scenario, or you could create one of your own. Um, here's your scenario. You're the manager at a local convenience store. And on Monday, you observed your cashier, Michael, being rude to a customer. The customer said they received the wrong drink. Michael said he gave them just what they ordered and that he was right. He said he would not give them a new drink unless they paid for it. The customer walked away very angry and left the building. So after reading it to the class, you could ask your students how they could use some leadership skills to coach their employee in a situation like that. So now we're going to talk about setting SMART goals. SMART goals is a goal setting technique that allows leaders the opportunity to set actionable objectives that receive results. Many managers and employees may use the method to further break down longstanding vague or even unclear goals. Each letter in the acronym is a principle that can be used in the process to create goals that really make sense. So you could share a scenario of your own or we've given you a scenario here you could actually use and your students would read through it and then they would need to write a SMART goal for Maria. And so if you read through this, Maria's broad goal is I want to start a business. Now their task is to write a SMART goal to help Maria get there. Icebreakers. One easy way to integrate employability skills into every class is through the use of those icebreaker activities. It could be a 30 second introduction or even a focused five minute activity, but soft skills can easily be addressed in every classroom. So often students might not even be aware that they're learning them, uh, but remember that collaborative work helps build communication skills. Start class with a quick think pair share activity where students pair up for a quick discussion. Uh, two, we, we know open-ended questions help build problem solving skills. So you could write a big idea question on the board and have your students journal their answers. Reflection activities are always a best practice to help build those critical thinking skills. You could use something like a KWL chart at the beginning and at the end of class to help students reflect on what they know and what they've learned. Oral speaking assignments build self-confidence. And we know sometimes that's really difficult for students, but you could do the introductions with a twist. Ask everyone to introduce themselves and state something unusual about themselves that no one else knows. Helping students develop time management skills, again, is also very important. To do that, you could give each small group a bowl with pre-measured dried beans in it. Ask them to put a few larger objects like fruit in it and the beans spill out and the students will be doing their best to pile them back in again. Then show them the trick of putting in the fruit or the larger object first and the beans around them. This whole thing is to illustrate the point of prioritizing the big stuff and fitting the smaller things around it. So interruptions for the rest of the day could be referred to as the beans. So again, just a few small activities that you could do in your classroom. Honesty and integrity in the workplace is certainly one of the most important qualities of effective employees. So in this activity, students would learn what this means and how to apply these skills in their work and their personal lives. You could begin, if students are not familiar with these words, by defining each. And you can see we've got some, some uh, definitions uh, in front of you, but certainly if you Google it, you'll find uh, many, many more. But for this activity, find quotes or sayings online that focus on honesty or integrity. You can share them with students. And then as a writing exercise, have them journal and ask for students to tell you what they think the quote really means and why. Again, we've provided you with two examples, but there are really, really a whole lot more if you would um, wish to have a, a wide variety. Visualization. The visionary leader can clearly articulate their view of the future, allowing followers to understand how they play an important role in the future state. By doing this, the followers become committed to making that vision come true. So this activity will help students understand what it means to visualize something and how they can apply this to their own life. So this activity includes a visualization exercise that includes thinking about goals, future, and dreams. They are led through the visualization through a series of questions. So you'd ask your students to close their eyes and you'd lead them through this visual imagery exercise. You can use the following prompts to guide students to not only think about 
but also to visualize their goals, future, and dreams. You have to be careful when you do it to pause between the prompts in order to give your students time to create those visual pictures and really imagine the possibilities. I'm gonna talk you through it, but today I'm not going to uh, leave those pauses in between. So you could say, think of a career or educational goal or dream you wish to accomplish. This might be something you are currently doing or something for your future. It could be something you've considered, but haven't truly thought you could do. Imagine what the day would look like when you achieved your goal. Picture yourself in the environment. What do you look like? What are you saying and doing? Who else is there with you? Now see the environment. What does it look like? Smell like? Sound like? How do you feel? Consider what it took for you to get to this point. How long did it take you? What sacrifices did you have to make? What were the little victories you were able to celebrate along the way? What were the victories that you knew were bringing you that much closer to your goal? What did the path look like? Was it smooth and even or bumpy and challenging? What difficulties did you encounter? How did you work through those? Think about the time it took to get through each one. Now picture yourself today and think about the steps you're going to take to get to that goal. So I ask your students then to open their eyes and take perhaps five to 10 minutes to journal just what they envisioned. Now we are excited to share the news of a brand new employability skills program for the middle school level. And this program is set up in a similar way to the other two programs that we mentioned. Comes with teacher guide with, uh, I believe it's uh, 20 lessons. You get those student workbooks and those scenario cards. The um, soft skills that we uh, chose for this program were also based on conversations with middle school teachers as well as business and industry professionals. And again, for more information, you can go out to the product page on our website and, and take a closer look, but uh, we are very, very excited. So here are all of the employability skills in this brand new middle school program. If you taught all of it, it would be about 20 to 30 hours of teaching time. Now, if you have an ability, uh, employability skills course, if you met once a week for a semester, this would give you enough content or twice a week for a quarter. But each lesson is again, a standalone lesson. You can pick those individual lessons and plug them in to the best time that works with your course content. For example, if you're a facts teacher and you have a culinary course, perhaps do a lesson on time management, tying it into how to do this while working as a chef in a restaurant. Or if you're a, te if you're a teacher of a vet tech course, you could uh, teach the listening or com communication lesson and make the connection of talking and listening to customers about their pets. A few of the features of the program that we like to point out, it's really easy to implement. It's supplemental, so it'll work with anything that you're already doing. Um, it's integrating hands-on activities and application of those 20 soft skills. Uh, again, the skills were chosen by teachers and business and industry as highly desired for students to learn. Um, workbooks provide extension activities and ways to apply what they've learned. And then we've got those scenario cards that build in the power of scenario-based learning. And again, those are very, very uh, flexible. You can use them in a multiple of different ways that we've shared today. Now we have a line to the National Employability Skills Framework as developed by the Office of Career and Technical and Adult Education. And that information is available if you need it. So we would like to share three free activities from this new program, just to give you a hint of what's in there. Uh, the first one is uh, on the screen here and it's from our communication lesson. It's the nonverbal communication brainstorm activity. So you, you know, begin by explaining to students there um, many nonverbal ways in which people do communicate and they can brainstorm and list all the different ways that um, they uh, can think of nonverbal cues and things like crossed arms and so forth. And once you have that master list, then have, th have them identify one way they think that that nonverbal communication can be interpreted. Then you're going to break them into small groups and have each or pairs and have each um, choose one of those nonverbal communication gestures, and they're gonna create a brief role play where they act out a scene using the gesture and then role play it again without the gesture and compare and contrast the impact that that has in their communication. This comes from our problem solving a lesson. It's all about developing multiple solutions. Uh, first of all, we are sharing a six step 
steps to problem solving video. It's a brief video under five minutes at the link provided. And you would share the scenario. So we've got the scenario on the screen here. Uh, it's something that a lot of uh, young people can uh, relate to because many of them get their first uh, jobs in restaurants. But you just got your first time or first part time job at a local fast food restaurant and you're very excited to start tomorrow. The problem is that you just found out your parents will not be able to take you. If you call and say you cannot make it on your first day, you might lose your job. So following those six steps to problem solving, have your students describe five or more ways that maybe they can problem solve so that they could indeed make it to work on time. And here is our third free activity from the program. And we are taking that from the interpersonal skills scenario card. And this is a think pair share activity where uh, the students would um, have the following scenario card, or you could show this on a document projector, and you're going to pair your students up. They're going to read through the scenario together. And this one focuses on interpersonal skills. And then you can see on the other side of the question, there are four key questions to answer. So your pair is going to uh, discuss their uh, answers to those questions. And then you're going to bring the class back together as a whole, and you can share how the different pairs answered those key questions for a variety of viewpoints. So if you're interested in the new middle school program, uh, you can go out to our website and we will be having this available shortly there. Um, you can see the pricing and the SKUs, um, but uh, it's an all-in-one. It comes with the facilitator instructions or the curriculum. It comes with the 20 student workbooks and the scenario cards. And then uh, the workbook is a student consumable and uh, when you run out of those, you can order those in bundles of 20 at our website store. So now what? We've given you a lot to think about. So here's a few things that you can do. Uh, first of all, the, uh, the link, you can download five ideas for incorporating soft skills, as well as a soft skills training tools guide. Uh, secondly, we offer many great downloadable posters um, as well that you can put up in your classroom. You are always welcome to um, request a con consultation from a reality works accountant account manager um, you can also check out some of our free career exploration lessons and there are many also we have an ongoing series of webinars on a variety of topics including employability and we have several specifically archived webinars on employability skills that you can also uh, watch um, at your leisure so another thing that we can do to connect is uh, you can scan this QR code and it again will fast track you uh, to an, a RealityWorks account manager and you can ask questions, get a free quote and access more resources. So I've been speaking quite a while. So at this time, I'm gonna open it up for questions. I know Emily has been managing and watching our chat um, box. So Emily, any questions that uh, anyone has today? Awesome. Thanks, Denise. Um, why I'm not seeing any yet, but, you know, let's give folks a moment or two, possibly, if they're thinking um, now that we've concluded the content today. Um, while folks are possibly thinking of a question they might have, um, I do just want to reiterate um, that middle school program in particular is brand new and as such not quite added to our website yet. It's coming within the next month. So that QR code that Denise just shared um, as well as the link that I just shared in the chat for everyone is an awesome way to request more information, particularly on that new product. If you fill out that quick form, um, we all will connect you with your local RealityWorks account manager to talk more about your unique program. And that is an opportunity for you to also uh, request some more information on that new middle school program once it's available in the next couple of weeks. So Delighted you covered that, Denise. I know we're all really excited to debut that new program. And just to give those who are watching this uh, webinar archived, um, the time from we're talking about is September of 2024 for that to, to be released and available to everybody. Perfect. Thanks, Denise. Um, we are, it looks like we do have a question. Kimberly is wondering whether, um, and Kimberly, I believe you're talking about the workbooks. The sets are only sold in sets of 20, um, asking because she does have 25 students. So she just wants to verify if she's interested, she would buy two sets of workbooks, correct? Um, yeah, well, you'd buy the, the base program, which comes with 20, and then you'd buy one more pack of the consumable, yep, in bundles of 20. Perfect, okay. Kimberly, if that didn't answer your, oh, perfect, it looks like that answered your question. Wonderful, good one, thank you. 
Um, I am not seeing any other questions in either the chat or the Q&A section. Um, if anyone does happen to think of anything following today's presentation, um, you can feel free to email us directly, information at realityworks.com, or uh, we will be following today's presentation with an email containing links to the recording, Denise's presentation slides, and all the other resources we shared. So you can also feel free to reply to that email as well with any questions you might have. But thanks again, everyone, for joining us today. We hope you found this presentation valuable. Denise, thanks so much for sharing what you did. It was wonderful. Thank you, Emily, and thank you, everyone, for joining us today.